this. So this is going to be a video full of all of the items that I use for my ferrets outdoors in the summertime or in the spring or in the fall when the weather is good. Um, I have a couple of different ways that I take the ferrets outside and a couple of different things that I use to do that. And they're all pretty cool. So I'm going to go through the pros and cons of each and where I got them. And we're going to start with the stroller because that is one of the ferrets favorite. Um, they absolutely love this. So the pet stroller is my absolute favorite. It is like one of the best things I've ever gotten for my ferrets. I got it from Petco about three years ago. It's um, the brand is called Good to Go, which I believe is Petco's like store brand, kind of like Sam's is Walmart's brand. Um, it was a hundred dollars. I actually have a link to the more updated one, so I believe that there's a newer version out, but it's exactly the same in all of the ways that I love it anyway. So I really went through and I kind of thought about any cons that I could come up with and I'll be honest with you I really like couldn't think of any which sounds crazy but I, I really can't so it's fully enclosed it has great storage it's super easy to set up it's super easy to fold back down it latches in place did I mention it was fully enclosed which I don't know for me it took me a while to find a pet stroller that was fully enclosed um, the reason that I really love it is getting them from point A to point B or just having a way to have them with you where it's safe, where you have some storage underneath. Um, it's absolutely amazing. And for a hundred bucks, I totally love it and I highly recommend it. So the next item on my list is the Outback Jack Cat Tent Enclosure. Um, I absolutely really love this thing. I, I really do. There are some cons to this product, so um, which I found out kind of just through trial and error after I purchased it. But in general, I'll go over the pros first and then I'll touch on my cons. The pros are that it has obviously great ventilation. It's super easy to put up and take down. Um, you can extend it by like you can add pieces to it so you could have two tents connected by a tunnel you could have one tent and three tunnels it's absolutely really awesome that you can connect all these different pieces and kind of basically make it as big as you want to um it's also great that it's fully enclosed so your ferrets can't get out of it or your bunnies or, or your it's obviously made for cats so your cats can't get out of it it's also really easy to clean so if you have your ferrets outside and they go to the bathroom all you got to do is grab your hose and hose it out it's cleaned off it's super easy um, so there's a lot of really awesome benefits to it it is a little bit expensive so here come my cons um, so if you have a ferret that chews or really gets to scratching at mesh it may be an issue um, because first of all they my ferrets have never ripped it so they have definitely put their their little paws on it and they've dug at it and they've never been able to rip it however um, despite the fact that I keep my ferret's nails trimmed, Lucy did get her nail caught on the tent one time. And I had to hold her in one hand <laughs> while my husband brought me scissors so we could cut. I had to cut the mesh on the tent to get her fingernail off. Um, because I don't know if you ever watched your ferret or if you guys have ever experienced a ferret getting caught on something. Um, but it's scary and they freak. They freak out. They want to get loose. They start flailing around like fish and you have to hold them in place so you can free them so they don't rip their fingernail off. Um, luckily everybody came out unscathed. She was completely fine. The tent has a tiny hole in it from where we had to cut her loose. Um, what's crazy was that her fingernails were not even that long because I cut their fingernails on a regular basis. It doesn't matter. Somehow, some way, she got her fingernails stuck. I've used that tent a lot of times. 50 or 60 times now. Um, it's only ever happened once and it was probably a fluke. It doesn't matter. I still feel like it's important that I say that out loud. So I still think it's a great product and I would still even recommend it. What I will say is that please make sure your ferret's nails are trimmed and that you are supervising them. Please don't leave them unsupervised even if you weren't worried about that experience. I still wouldn't leave them unsupervised in a mesh anything really because while my ferrets have not tried to dig their way out or have not ripped the mesh i don't i'm not confident to say that it couldn't happen so
So the next product that I also really love but does have some cons is the Play Yard. So it is, um, it's called the You and Me Run and Play Space Small Animal Playpen Large. That's a whole mouthful. Basically, it's a small pet play area made of metal that is the large version, meaning that it stands, I believe it's 29 inches tall. So when you get into the medium and the small, it's a little bit shorter. I really love it because it allows me to take the ferrets outside and it gives me a decent amount of space. Um, I bought one and it's six panels and it's pretty big. So to let four ferrets fully get at least a lot, like a decent amount of exercise, one play yard by itself wasn't I didn't think it was large enough. So I ended up going out and getting a second play yard. So some of the benefits is that um, it's expandable. You can add as many play yards together as you want to. Um, I also love the play yard because I'm able to split it up. Um, I split it up and I use it everywhere. So if there are places where I need to ferret proof or keep my ferrets out of, I just pull the gate apart and however many panels it takes, I block that section. So that's really cool. Um, the spacing on the bars are great. My ferrets so when my ferrets are really tiny, they could fit through the bars. So if you have a ferret that is not fully grown yet, um, they may be able to squeeze through. If you have a ferret who's on the smaller side, they may be able to squeeze through. Also, the bar spacing is vertical, which is also a plus. Ferrets are climbers um, and they will climb. So my ferrets can't climb over the, the bars, although I have heard from people that their ferrets could. The cons are this. First of all, it's expensive. I believe it's $89 for one play yard, which honestly, I think is a lot of money that I didn't pay full price for either one of my play yards. I waited till Petco had a sale and I bought them at half price. Um, the other thing, the other con is that it's heavy. I honestly love the play yard for a lot of reasons. Um, it definitely gives me, allows me to have a little bit more freedom in allowing basically all my pets to kind of have a space and a place to be that's safe, even if that's just by blocking a doorway, blocking a vent, whatever it is I'm using it for. So those are just the pros and cons that I have of the play yard. So my next probably second favorite thing is the Apollo Walker pet backpack, which I just got and I just did a video on. I'm gonna link the video above because um, it's very detailed. I absolutely love this thing. Um, it's so amazing. So first of all, it's very, it has such great ventilation. It was like $34, so it wasn't very expensive. Um, it also opens on like all, both sides. It fully opens. It opens a little bit on both sides and then it opens in the front several different ways. And it has, um, the only thing that I don't necessarily love is there's no storage <laughs> so there's like nowhere to store stuff in it so that kind of sucks like if you were going to take your ferrets hiking or something like that you would almost have to bring a separate bag for your belongings which does kind of eh, defeat the purpose a little bit but overall for using it for your pets i think it's great the bottom of it is super secure and your ferrets aren't they're like not no pet that it's actually not made for ferrets but for whatever animal you have in it they wouldn't sink to the bottom of it so i really love it for that purpose um it's super it was so easy to put together i took it out of the box and literally you just push the bottom pad in which velcros in place and you zip it and then that's it only con really again that i could think of comes back to mesh and um for me, I haven't had an experience any issues. Actually, the mesh on the backpack is really thick. It's a thicker mesh. It's it's thicker than, than most meshes that you see. So it is a pretty thick mesh. Um, it's almost, I don't really know that they would be able to rip it. I don't want to say that for sure, but I just know that of all the things mesh that I have, and I've had mesh bags before that the ferrets, you know, didn't take much to kind of rip through. The mesh on this book bag and the mesh on that tent earlier in the video um, are pretty strong. So far, I have had no issues with it. But again, if you have a ferret or any pet who really likes to dig at mesh or is great at ripping it apart, this may not be the product for you. So the other way that I also take the ferrets out is using a harness. So I've used many, many harnesses. I've used like full body 
like harnesses that go on them i've used just a couple different varieties and what i found is the figure eight harness is absolutely the best at least for me i know weasel could get out of like every harness that i've ever put him in i don't know why he is like the great escape artist but for some reason he has been unable to get out of a figure eight harness so i got a couple on etsy not too long ago which i absolutely love I really don't have too many cons. The only con that I have is that I have a hard time walking all four of them at one time, but that's not really anybody's fault but mine. So, or just the fact that it's hard to walk four ferrets. Aside from that, I really love the figure eight harness. I don't leave any kind of collars or harnesses on my ferrets ever at any time unless we are outside walking. Um, I just have a fear that they will get caught if I leave collars on them and for some reason I'm not around and they get snagged on something and it could be really, it could be honestly detrimental. Um, so I just, I'm not a fan of collars or harnesses. I actually don't use collars or harnesses on any of my animals except for when we're going for a walk. I also want to touch briefly on this. Um, I'm not going to get too much into detail on it because I have a video where I speak on this topic and I will put a link to that video above me now. Um, it is about fleas and ferrets. So I just want to make you guys aware. I'm sure that most of you know this. Fleas, your ferrets can get fleas. They can get ticks and they can get heartworm disease. So if you're going to have your ferret outside, I would recommend that you speak to your vet about what type of flea medication may be appropriate for your ferrets um, just to keep them safe. I would do not, it's really not, you definitely don't want your ferrets to get a flea infestation. First of all, it's a pain in the butt to get rid of. And secondly, um, if your ferrets are exposed to fleas for too long, it can really make them sick. So I get a prescription from my vet for my ferrets flea treatment. Um, I also treat them even when they don't go outside because I have other pets that go outside. And while they all do have flea treatment, they can still bring fleas in to the house and if the ferrets aren't treated they would be the ones that would get infestation from it so i um don't want them to get sick and i want them to be healthy and just want to throw that out there in case you guys didn't know like i said there's a video more in depth on that so i just wanted to say that too okay you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any items that you use with your ferrets to take them outside in the summer spring fall whenever the weather is nice please drop that information in the comments. Let's share it with everyone. I know that people are always looking for ideas for things to do with their ferrets that are safe or just options to have. So if you have something that I didn't mention or even if you have an experience with something that I did mention, please drop that information in the comments so that other people can see it and we can share it amongst us. Um, that is kind of my goal is just to kind of get everybody to talking about all different stuff for ferrets so that it's always nice to know what somebody else does just to get some ideas. And if there is any video ideas that you guys want to see or any topics you want me to cover, please drop that in the comment section also. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. And have an amazing 4th of July.